All right. Today is a fantastic day. This is a follow-up video. Um, we sold this to AJ and his wife out of Washington. And uh, this one just turned out absolutely fabulous. Um, he did some really simple cues on this truck. And so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around it real quick. Um, this one is a, uh, I can't remember if it's a 19 or a 20. I think it's a left, one of our leftover 19s. Here's a side profile. You know, I talk a lot about the mechanics of these trucks, but one of the things that I think I've been really bad about is talking about the team that it takes to get one of these things to the finish line. Um, our body shop in the Denver yard did a great job on this truck, adding lights. Um, Tim, he's our parts guy, Tim Krieger in our Denver office. Great parts guy. He's, he's the one who brings all this stuff together so the technicians can have their, their day to make it work. So this one's a 280 wheelbase. It's got the X15 Cummins 2050 torque. It does have an air ride. I'm not gonna roll the hood on this one here. Um, I just wanna go through some of the extra things that we did. So this drop visor is called the Gangster drop visor. It's a 12 inch drop visor. He didn't wanna go with, uh, with the 14 inch deep drop just cause he likes having better visibility and since he's in Seattle. Um, and then you can see it mounts up a little bit differently. So we, we actually had to take all the stock mounts off and fill the holes on top and actually repaint the roof cap. Then what we did here is AJ wanted some watermelon lights. And so we did four watermelon lights on the front but that required us to move the hood buckle just a little bit. Um, and then we did a watermelon light here. And it's a running light slash turn signals. We didn't do anything inside the air cleaners on this one. And then we did these on the back side. Some of these parts came from uh, our chrome country out in Nashville. So you guys... Um, if you guys are, you know, calling Chrome Shop Mafia and everything else, I would strongly suggest you give uh, my buddy Ben down in Nashville um, an opportunity on this one here. And then we have a great vendor out of Denver. His his name is uh, uh, Bob Anderson, and he does custom pinstriping and vinyl. And you can see here, uh, this is this is the vinyl portion of what Bob does. But he does a lot of old school stuff too. Hand pinstriping. It's just beautiful. And it just, it really brings that orange to life on this truck. I just love it. Super simple styling cues. Right down the back of the sleeper. SeaTac for all my Seahawks fans out there. So, uh, one of the next things we did, uh, you know, I'm talking about the team, the team that it takes to put these things together. Uh, Ron Mills from Holland, New Way, he supplied us with this lift axle. He got it to us quick and we were able to get it installed in short order. So, I've talked about this in some of my last videos about uh, a 280 wheelbase and what it takes to put something in here. You know, one of the sacrifices on this truck is a step. So, of course, then we put the lift axle controls. This is a 13,000 pound liftable steerable. And then AJ wanted this toolbox. Well, the toolbox that we ordered, um, we didn't know that it had this little hump on the back. Well, it's designed to go up underneath the headache rack, but it was real convenient. Uh, my body shop guy here in Denver, Scooter, um, he, was, he got real creative on changing the mounting positions and everything so that everything is still usable 
and it's right there on the box. So AJ can throw all of his straps and everything up inside there. And then he cut down the catwalk so that it would fit properly. And then you can see here, the mounting bracket for the fenders. So the fenders steer with the axle. We got uh, Hodge built, 30 inch drop. We did Peterbilt wheels. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments, the uh, lift axle there. We, we weren't able to get the Peterbilt wheels in a 19.5 tire. There we go. New shipment of Peterbilt's just arrived. So you can see here. Hey guys, throw your comments up here. Tell AJ and his wife congratulations on this truck, man. This is something that's gonna feed his family and take care of them for many, many years. And I know a lot of you guys, you put your life savings out there to buy these trucks. And I don't take that lightly. Um, well, one of the other things we did on this, we turned the back of sleeper lights to the red so he can run those at night if he wishes and then we also put a couple extra floodlights up top and those were bright okay everything's all polished up it's a good looking truck guys we're gonna get these guys on the road here hey if you have questions or you want to build your own custom peak give me a holler again my name is JW 970-518-5520 Got him this cool custom keychain. Full gauge. Um, I have a full video on this truck from earlier. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably just, I might keep that one around, but it is nice to have a before and after. So if you want to see the full video, I'll put a link um, to this truck. We didn't really change anything on the inside. So, but hey, AJ. We wish you the best, my man, with this truck. And I uh, hope it serves you well for many, many years to come. Go make lots of money so we can sell you some more. If you like these videos, go ahead and click on the button in the bottom right-hand corner and subscribe. We'd love to have you. Again, my name is JW970-518-5520. Have a great day, buddy. Stay safe.